Neo stock has dropped more than 15% in the past week, but this is no time to panic. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Neo stock has just had its price target boosted and analysts are getting very bullish about Neo. Although Neo has dropped 15% this week, I will explain why this happened and why Neo is going to bounce back. Later in this video, I will explain exactly what price I expect Neo to hit before the reversal starts. This will be within the next few days, so keep watching until the end. And let me know if you agree with my analysis or not in the comments below. And with the earnings coming up in the next few weeks, I will do an earnings preview that you will want to see. I will try to answer the most important question, when is the best time to buy Neo stock? Before we get into the video, I want to thank all you guys who liked my last video. Over 500 likes really mean so much to me. Smashing the thumbs up costs nothing and it helps the channel so much. Can we get another 500 likes on this video? Please try to help make it happen. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. I will be doing regular stock videos again for the rest of the year. Finally, I want to point out that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Now let's get into it. So the very latest NEO news is that Italian powertrain maker Mavel is set to be the supplier of NEO's next-gen models. Naval has closed Serie A and Serie A Plus rounds amounting to tens of millions of dollars. NEO Capital said, adding that the Italian company will be a supplier of core components for NEO's next generation platform. The company's technology is recognized by a number of world-renowned automotive companies with key customers including Aston Martin, McLaren, Ducati, Energica, Norton and NEO. But this news is very unlikely to have a material impact on NEO's stock price. So let's move on to the most recent important analyst updates and something that could be a huge threat to the share price. Then I will analyze the financials and show you what I think is the perfect time to get into this stock. 12 analysts have set 12 month price targets for NEO stock in the last three months. The average price target is 1287. This price target is actually lower than the current price of 1290. But analysts are not always correct and this average price target of $12 can be a little misleading as I will show you now. Looking at MarketBeat, we can see that NEO stock is currently in the top half of its 50 day range, but it is still in the lower half of its 52 week range and the market cap is now $22 billion. So as we can see here, that ranks NEO as the fourth largest EV brand in the world by market cap, with Tesla being number one. Just in case you don't know guys, the number two here, BYD, might be number two by market capitalization, but in numbers, in terms of sales and deliveries, it has recently overtaken Tesla as number one. And they are trading at only about 12% of Tesla's valuation, despite having close to 70% of their revenue. If you would like to see me do a BYD analysis video or a comparison between BYD and NEO, then drop a comment below. I don't know what you guys want to see until you leave comments, so comment below. Anyways, this video is about NEO. So NEO does have the backing of major institutional investors, including Bailey Gifford, State Street and BlackRock, with institutional ownership of nearly 30%. Now, as I said a moment ago, the analyst price targets are a little bit misleading because the most recent analyst targets are between $15 and $19. These have been set in the past 10 days and prior to this, price targets of $10 or less were set at a time when deliveries were low and didn't take into account of NEO transitioning from NT1 over to their NT2 platform. And I also feel that many buyers would have been waiting for the price cuts to kick in. Now we can see here from the most recent ratings have been set by Deutsche Bank Germany, Bank of America, Citigroup and UBS. All of these analysts have raised their price targets for NEO with the most recent reiterating the buy rating. So the average price target over the last 12 months is actually lower than the current trading price, but the current trading price is between 20 and 50% below these recent price targets. So this is a very bullish sign from these analysts. Neo stock has been on a steady upward trend for the past two months, but has pulled back more than 14% this week. So let's look at the reason for this. And is this something that NEO investors should be concerned about? NEO stock alert, NEO will face class action lawsuit. The lawsuit claims that investors were harmed after the company cancelled plans to build a factory and the US district judge has allowed investors to file a class action lawsuit. The lawsuit claims the shareholders were harmed by a decline in the share price after NEO disclosed in March 2019 that it would cancel plans to build a new factory. Shares fell by 30%. 
to about $7 from roughly $10 following the announcement. During its IPO, NEO claimed the factory was under construction. Shareholders believe that NEO's construction of its own factory would alleviate its reliance on Chinese state-owned manufacturer. And according to the lawsuit, construction of the factory was never started. So this could be interesting for NEO. Personally, I don't think that there's too much to worry about with this. Even if NEO are found guilty, I cannot imagine that this matters too much. Like, NEO stock may have dropped 30% from $10 to $7, but the stock dropped far lower for other reasons after that, and eventually ran to over $60 in 2021. So any shareholders who sold at $7 after this announcement were getting out before it plummeted to its low in 2019, and for those who held on to their shares, they would have seen the stock price rise up to over $60 in 2021. So personally, I don't think that this class action lawsuit is going to make much of a difference. What do you think? I've seen a lot of comments across social media about all of this being led by hedge funds trying to drive the share price down. What do you think? Drop a comment below. Looking at the charts, we can see here that the stock has been rising a lot in the past two months. Neo stock had gained over 100% in the past few weeks after hitting its 52 week low back in June. The stock then continued on this upward trajectory before a huge breakout movement at the end of July and then this week there has been a big pullback. Now the RSI has gone very low after being incredibly overbought. But I feel that NEO is nearly finished dropping for now, the stock might go as low as $12.40 on Monday in my opinion but after that I expect to see movement to the upside in the coming weeks probably getting back to about $15 by the month end. In terms of risk versus reward, I see a potential downside of maybe 3-5% to with potential upside in excess of 20%. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, this is just my opinion. But from analysing the data, this is what it suggests to me. Now, Neo's next earnings report is less than a month away. And looking at Neo's most recent earnings report, this was not much to shout about. In fact, I feel that it was very disappointing, but there are reasons for this. First of all, the positive is that NEO beat analyst expectations for the first time in a long time, and this coincided with the beginning of the stock price appreciation. So in December 2022, NEO missed their expected EPS by 91%, but in the most recent earnings report, NEO actually beat analyst expectations by 13%. Although revenue was slightly lower than expected, beating the EPS helped drive the share price upwards. So looking at the earnings report, we can see that revenue for the quarter was very similar to the same period of 2022, but that the loss for operations had increased about 150%, up to 5.1 billion RMB. And this would be very worrying, but there are reasons for this, which I will speak about in a moment. Looking at NEO's balance sheet, we can see that the company has total assets of $13 billion and total liabilities of $9.5 billion, with cash and short-term investments accounting for over $5 billion's worth of assets. So clearly this is a very healthy balance sheet and this needs to be considered when looking at NEO's current operational losses. So losses from operations for the three-month period were $744 million. And to be fair, the next earnings report will not be any better. In fact, it is probably going to get worse before it gets better. Neo deliveries in Q1 accounted for only 31,000 EVs, which is only marginally better than the previous year. Whereas in Q2, deliveries dropped even further, down to only 23,000. So the Q2 earnings report will have a drop in revenue, but will also have significant losses from operations, due to increased production. Now what is important to remember is that everyone is already aware of this. Analysts have factored this into their expectations and I do not think that NEO will post any huge surprises in three weeks time with their earnings report. Deutsche Bank, who have just upgraded their NEO price target, have said that NEO's gross margin will be under pressure due to lower deliveries in Q2, but stronger execution is starting to show up which could help vehicle margins recover in the second half of the year. If you don't already know, NEO recorded over 20,000 deliveries in July, beating their previous record for one month. 
That is nearly as much as the whole of Q2, and in only one month. And the rest of Q3 is expected to be similar. In fact, some reports are suggesting that Neo deliveries could be as much as 30,000 in August. And I feel that deliveries of 30,000 or more per month is very possible and would help to push the stock back up. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you've watched all the way through this video and enjoy my content, please hit the like button. It really helps the channel out a lot. If you're new, subscribe and hit the bell notification and follow me on Twitter if you would like to see another NEO update soon. Let me know if you would like to see a video speaking in more detail about the upcoming earnings and what we can expect from this and what to expect in Q3 and Q4 based on the current projections. Nothing in my videos is financial advice in any way and I am not a financial advisor. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next update.